Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you my way of drawing bows and ribbons. So how I draw bows is I start with the center knot of the bow. And for the sides I like to cinch it in a bit. So it's almost kind of like an hourglass shape, but a bit wider. And then I draw a line like this, kind of like a hook. Do that on either side. And then I loop around like this. So now you can see what that hook was for. This is the front of the ribbon, and then it folds back around. So that's just the fold there. And then I like to make a little hook like this because the bottom of the bow comes out so that's just like a little crease in the bow. And then I add a couple lines like that for more creases. I even sometimes here make more obvious creases in the center. And now we'll do the other side as well. Another couple lines. And now we're going to add the little bottom ribbons of the bow. And if it's a thick bow, you need the bottom ribbons to be thick too because it's the same piece of fabric. And this part can be however long or short you want it to be. And I don't like them to be perfectly symmetrical either. So sometimes I draw the bows kind of rounder like this, or sometimes I make them a bit choppier. Just make the lines less rounded. It just makes it look like kind of thicker, crunchier fabric if you can get what I'm trying to say. Just quickly add this in. And now I'm going to move on to ribbons. So for the ribbons, I like to usually start off wherever you want your ribbon to start from, if it's in her hair or whatever it is. And then just draw the shape and the flow of the ribbon the way you want it. And then you have the ribbon kind of twists itself when it hangs. So I'm going to draw in the ribbon like this. And then whenever you come to a curve, make the line touch like this. And you want these lines to join seamlessly. So we started underneath our original line. Now we're going to go on top of our original line. And follow it like that. So you can see that's a twist in the ribbon. And sometimes when I do a twist, like see this is like you're seeing the ribbon exactly from the side here. So it's just a skinny line. But sometimes I make the twist like this. So you can see the ribbon goes over like this, but you're still seeing it from the front. So those are just two different kinds of twists you can have in your ribbon. So that is it for the tutorial. I hope this is helpful for you guys. There's a whole bunch of ways to draw bows and ribbons, but this is just how I usually do it. 
So thanks for watching guys and please subscribe if you haven't and be sure to check out my website mangalessons.com. Thanks for watching guys.